All right, what's going on YouTube? So today I'm installing this MBRP uh, cat back muffler. It's just a clip on, should be pretty easy. I'm going to um, basically take the RAM to a shop, see how much they'll charge me. And if it's over, let's say $200, I'm just gonna go buy everything and install it myself. They say it's fairly easy. So uh, let me give you guys a cold start. First start of the day. This is the stock. Um, the stock is also, let's take a listen. So remember I have the uh, GT package. So it's got the cold air intake, um, but it's still got the factory muffler on it. So like I said, I'm gonna put this MBRP on there. I like the sound of it, but I do want it to be a little bit more uh, deeper on the tone, uh, a little bit more throaty, a little bit more volume. So that's why I'm going with this uh, this MBRP. So I'll give you guys a, you know, once I install it, probably do a video on how to do it. Like if I don't mess up anything or see if I can record at the shop. Um, but yeah, basically that is, stock right there the gt so it sounds a little bit different because it's got the co air intake but again uh once i put that mbrp on there it should be a little bit more deeper throatier um and have a little bit more volume to it so that's it all right so this is uh the interior of the cabs windows up stock exhaust uh this is the sound So this right here is going to be another clip with the back window open, the sliding window. All right, this is the stock exhaust cruising at 55 miles an hour. All right, so we have the MBRP installed. This is a cold start. Give you guys a sound clip. All right, so just like before, this is the driving with the new exhaust.
then just like the other video, this is with the back window open. All right, so we finally got this thing switched out. They pulled it out and uh, I didn't install it myself, but I had somebody do it, but I'll show you guys how it was done. It's really simple. They have a video, um, basically just gonna cut one inch from the well right here. You use all the existing hangers and they give you a clamp. You unbolt these two uh, from this flange and then you just throw the other one up. So let's take a look under the, under the car. All right, so this is the new muffler right here. And that's what I was talking about. So the factory well, the, uh, the factory um, muffler, basically you cut it here, put this clip on there. Um, so again, like I said, I didn't do it myself, but I was. My budget was um, no more than $200. I called a place in Virginia and it was like almost $500 to cut. Um, and I told him like, no, nah, I'm good. So I went to this other guy, uh, just a regular muffler shop and he told me 120 on the spot. So I was like, I'll, I'll go ahead and get it done from you. Um, but before that I was going to go to a uh, Harbor Freight buy a, um, saw for like 15 bucks, cut it off myself and then just bolt it. Because like I said, it's simple. It's super easy. Um, like I said, you use the existing hangers. Um, uh, you'll need a hanger, um, a hanger tool that basically clamps in here, push this out, or you can just, you know, pry yourself, but it makes it easy to just get that clamp to squeeze it. Um, but again, it was a pretty easy install. And this guy had it done uh, in and out 30 minutes. Like it was that easy. And so again, you just bolt these, um, use the existing, like there's a little, almost like a gasket or a seal that goes right here. Use that, get the bolts. And, um, you know, it's smaller, um, not too much droning in the cab. Um, at, you know, basically like when you're cruising, you can't really hear it. Um, it is a deeper tone, but I don't, I don't, I don't know. I'll let you guys be the judge of that. It's, it sounds better. I would say that it definitely sounds better, but, um, and it's a little bit more volume. So. I don't know. I didn't, you know, feel a difference in like horsepower or anything like that. But uh, you can definitely hear the sound more in the cabin when you hear it or when you drive it, I, sh I should say. Um, you know, if you step on the gas, you can definitely hear uh, a little bit more volume, a little bit more throatier tone uh, than stock. So not too bad. Uh, easy install. Guys, you know, if you got any questions, let me know.